G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and today we're down here at my quail pen and I wanted to give you guys an update. If you would have saw my last video, you would have remembered that I've got this rat problem of the rats nesting between the mesh on top of the quail pen and the poly roofing. They're getting in the gap there, they're getting through the framework, the little gap in the framework and the poly roofing and then they're, they're nesting around the centre there, it's nice and dry, snakes can't get the, the rats and the field mice, so it's a perfect spot for them. The problem is they, their droppings go through the mesh and their wee and everything and that's just unhygienic and it needs to stop. Thank you very much for all of your suggestions on how I could clog those holes up and get rid of the, get rid of the mice and, and the rats. Uh, there were some real great suggestions like shooting, um, poisoning of course, uh, setting up a mini electric fence so that the rats would uh, not want to go in there. That was pretty novel too and apparently it's uh, quite possible to do. A little bit elaborate nevertheless. Um, but there was two guys, Dale and Paul, and Dale recommended a plastic product like this one and Paul recommended this foam product. It turns out Dale, if you're watching, that the plastic one, a little bit more expensive and harder to source for me here in Australia. And this foam one, which is the same, except it's obviously uh, maybe easier to chew through, I suppose. It's a lot cheaper and easier to source. I could get this from my local Bunnings uh, where Paul pointed me to. So thanks, guys, for all your suggestions, and thanks in particular, Dale and Paul, for your suggestions of this. Now this stuff comes in a length of about half a metre and it comes in a pack of four only for about two dollars fifty that's all it costs and it's actually designed I had no idea I mean I'm the crappest carpenter out a lot of my self-sufficiency stuff is just done by eye and whatever my experience is which is pretty limited but it, a lot of my stuff works like this cage works perfectly and it's stayed solid and well built, I suppose. But um, yeah, I'm not the not the best handyman, I could tell you that. And I didn't realise that this was actually available, and it's purpose built to fill those gaps between uh, the framework and a poly roofing or corrugated roofing, iron roofing like that. So it works great. I've tried a few. They sort of sit fit together like. Lego, they just join together and then you just push them in, they fit in nicely into the holes and I'm pretty confident that that's going to keep the rats and mice out. I say that because I don't think rats and mice are going to be bothered trying to chew through this and just to get to a nesting spot or make a nesting spot. Um, they'll burrow, their burrows under logs and under trees and tree roots is much easier for them than trying to chew through this. Now if there was food or some type of pull factor, uh, like you know, they will chew through a bag of food or chew through into uh, a wall maybe to get to the food, but um, there's no food up there. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. We're going to test it out anyway, but I'm confident by pushing all this in and my little trial that I did is going to work a treat. At the end of the day, it's going to cost me about 20 bucks to fit it around the whole, around the whole pen and Bob's your uncle. There was one other thing I have to, I don't want to, I'm sort of loathe to tell you, but in the last video I rescued a quail that had got out when I was down here last because I left the door open. What happens is, I don't actually leave this door open, occasionally the door actually pops open, it might pop open a foot or so, and if I don't see it, of course, then I lose quail. I don't, that doesn't happen to me very often, it's happened to me like twice or three times since I built this pen. And uh, once was the other day when I lost the quail in the bush, and the other one was today when I was cleaning the uh, I was cleaning the roof off the pen uh, with a rake and I was banging on it and I hadn't had the brick leaning against the door and the door popped open. I was around the other side and I didn't realise that 
half a dozen quail had got out of the cage. Luckily, they were only in the general area and uh, one went back in by itself anyway. I rounded the other ones up pretty, pretty easily and one of my hens, a sticky beak old hen, got into the quail pen and was having a sneak around and eating a bit of their feed. Uh, she came out by, by herself but no damage was done. So shamefully it's happened again to me. It's not, just, it's not gonna happen anymore. I'm gonna maybe put an inside latch on it or something like that, something that I know is not going to pop off when I'm just, uh, or pop out when I'm not looking. Anyway, let's get into fitting the rest of this around the side of the pen and uh, that should be it. Okay, that's that done. It only took about 15 minutes. Yeah, there were some areas where I needed to squish it in double to make sure that I could fill up the holes properly, but that's not a drama. I had plenty left over. You know, 20 lengths of that was, was enough to do that 7.2.4 metre pen and fill up all those gaps between the poly roofing and the framework. I shouldn't have any dramas with rats or mice nesting up there anymore. But having said that, I don't want people to get too wrapped around the axles every time you see a mouse or a rat around your chicken or quail pen. Of course you don't want rats in your quail pen, that's a big no-no and you should have build a quail pen that is proof from all predators and rats are a predator. They attack quail and they, they eat them and make a horrible mess. But if you see the odd rat or mouse, particularly in places, environments where you, you're in near the open bush environment where you've got natural rats and field mice and that all around the place. Yeah, you, they're going to be everywhere. It's not possible to kill them all and I don't think we should be trying to kill every rodent we, uh, we come across or even seeking them out to murder a lot of them because it's just uh, not only is it impossible but they're food for our other animals, in particular the native snakes, you know. I always see a build up of rats and mice around the area about mid-spring. You see quite a lot of them. I'd come down here over the night time and they're running around and they're scurrying away. Then, coming into summer, at the end of spring and into summer, the numbers drop off dramatically. And I reckon it's because that's when the snakes are coming out of hibernation, they're, they're more prolific, they're faster, and they're out, they're hungry, and they're catching a whole heap of, of rodents uh, to beef themselves up again and, and then breed themselves. So, you know, unless they're nesting in your chicken pen or on your quail pen and they're creating a problem, um, then of course get rid of them around that environment. But I don't think we should go overboard in trying to kill every mouse on the planet. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found that uh, interesting. Thanks again for all your suggestions from that last video on how I should fix that rat nesting prop problem. Have a great day. Bye for now.